Hello guys, last month I published a video about this condition in PHP, so-called Yoda style, which is backwards, value versus key. And today I want to expand on this video with a better way to solving that problem and how to avoid using Yoda style. If you haven't watched this video, I will link that in the description below, but this follow-up video is based on some comments from people who basically said they kind of hate Yoda style and this was used before automated tests, static analysis, code styling, fixing and stuff like that, which should automate those checks instead of using that Yoda style. So I created a different project with this code. So the initial idea of this line is to check if the item special sale for invoice is one or zero. And for those who haven't watched the previous video, I will summarize it, that it is done to avoid this mistake of mixing the comparison operator with assignment. This is a very classical mistake by developer. You can make a typo and instead of doing this, you can do this, which then always returns true and then your logic falls apart. So to avoid that in the old days of PHP and in other languages as well, the protection was changing the key and value. But there's a better way and that's what this video is about. This situation should be covered by automated tests and maybe potentially static analysis tools. So if you have automated test, for example, I do have invoice test, which is a unit test, testing that invoice returns the correct total with two items, one of them with special sale, another is without special sale, and we expect the result to be 30. And if your code is correct, then you run automated test with PHP artisan test, and you see that it's passed, everything is good. But now if you make that mistake or someone else on your team, then you run that test again, and then it fails, asserting that 20 matches expected 30. Of course, it doesn't show the exact mistake that you missed the comparison operator, but it would flag that something is wrong in the specific function, that the calculation is incorrect, and then going through that function, you go, oh, this, of course, how could I be so stupid? Then you fix, run test again, and go on with living your life. So that Yoda style condition is kind of old way, old workaround with manual testing to avoid bugs. But it's so old that in fact modern developers kind of hate that because of readability issues and they don't recommend using that Yoda style condition. In fact, pretty recently, one of the popular tools for code style fixing, which is Laravel Pint, got a pull request enforcing non-Yoda style. So instead of having this, Laravel Pint would automatically fix for you that this should be the other way around. And I've installed Pint on this project, so if we run it in testing mode for now, it would flag that in invoice service you have Yoda style thing. And if we run it without test flag, it will automatically fix it, changing the key and value. So yeah, the previous video was why Yoda style, and this video is what to do instead of it. I hope it gives you more context if you see that code in the wild in someone else's project. And this video, as you can see, is not that much about Laravel, except for Laravel Pint, it's about PHP. And recently I received the full course about PHP for Laravel developers, ironically, to fill those missing gaps for developers who started with Laravel, not knowing that much of underneath PHP. So I will link that course in the description below in case you want to fill those gaps as well in your knowledge. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.